welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting infinite series question the question is uh, sum of in, uh, n is equal 0 to infinity n factorial square over 2n plus 1 factorial okay how to begin well first here we have in the numerator n factorial so we know n factorial is equal to gamma of n plus 1 so we can write uh, this is equal to infinite sum 0 to infinity now instead of n factorial i am going to use gamma of n plus 1 here square so i am going to write again gamma of n plus 1 over now instead of 2n plus 1 factorial we can use gamma function gamma of 2n plus 2 okay then um, we know uh, about beta function so beta of beta of uh, mn is equal to gamma of m times gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can now uh, use uh, this formula so 0 to infinity now uh, here m we can take n plus 1 n also we can take n plus 1 so we can write now this is equal to beta of n plus 1 comma n plus 1 okay then uh, we have some formulas for beta function uh, but uh, in this question i'm going to use uh, this property of beta function beta of mn is equal to 2 times 0 to pi over 2 sin raised to the 2m minus 1 of x times cosine to the 2n minus 1 of x dx so we can write now uh, this is equal to infinite sum 0 to infinity now instead of beta function uh, we can write integral from 0 to pi over 2 here 2 so here 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine raised to the now here uh, we know m is equal to n plus 1 so 2n plus 2 minus 1 2n plus 1 so sine raised to the 2n plus 1 of x also here 2n plus 1 of x dx okay then uh, as a next step uh, i am going to multiply uh, both numerator and denominator by uh, 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 so 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 uh, sine raised to the 2n plus 1 of x cosine raised to the 2n plus 1 of x over 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 uh, here dx ok then we know in the numerator we have double angle formula so we can write uh, 2 times n is equal 0 to infinity integral from uh, sorry here not infinity 0 to pi over 2 now 0 to pi over 2 now we know this is equal to sine raised to the 2 n plus 1 of x over 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 dx okay then here 2x now uh, i am going to use a substitution so if we take uh, 2x uh, 2x is equal to u so 2x is equal to u now differentiate 2 times dx is equal to du uh, then we can write uh, this is equal to 2 times n is equal 0 to infinity uh, integral now when x approaches to 0 lower limit u also approaches to 0 uh, when x approaches to pi over 2 we know u approaches to pi and here we have sine raised to the 2n plus 1 now 2x we know u uh, so here 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 times now dx is equal to du over 2 du over 2 now we know this 2 
get cancel and uh, now we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation so we can write now uh, this is equal to integral from 0 to pi infinite sum 0 to infinity uh, sine raise to the 2n plus 1 of u over 2 raised to the 2n plus 1 du okay now uh, here we have infinite series so I am going to uh, take a first function uh, sorry first term so if we plug in 0 uh, we will have uh, f uh, first term of this series so we know if we plug in 0 here uh, sign of u sign of u over here n is equal 0 so 2 uh, if we take a second term when n is equal 1 we know sign uh, raised to the 3 power of u over 2 raised to the 3 power now we know uh, we have geometric series and common term if we take uh, r uh, we know if we divide uh, these terms uh, we should have a common term so sine square of u over 2 square now we know uh, infinite sum of series we know uh, first term over 1 minus common term common ratio so we can write now uh, 0 to pi instead of this series we can write sine of uh, u sine of u over 2 first term uh, over now uh, 1 minus 1 minus uh, common ratio we know sine square of sine square of u over 2 square here du now we can simplify this so here integral from 0 to pi here 2 square 4 so this 2 get cancelled and this 2 we can write in the numerator so 2 times sine of u over now here 4 minus sine square of u 4 minus sine square of u du okay then uh, now instead of sine square we can uh, plug in uh, 1 minus cosine square so here 0 to pi 2 times sine of u over here 4 uh, minus 1 minus cosine square so 4 minus 1 we know 3 minus minus plus so cosine square of u t u okay now uh, to evaluate this integral again we can uh, uh, take a substitution so if we take uh, now I'm going to take cosine of u cosine of u is equal to t then differentiate so we know minus sine of u du is equal to dt uh, then we can plug in here so we know now this is equal to integral now limit lower limit when x approaches to sorry when u approaches to 0 cosine of 0 we know uh, cosine of 0 1 uh, upper limit when x approaches to pi cosine of pi we know minus 1 now 2 times sine of u du sine of u du we know minus dt so uh, minus 2 times dt over now uh, here 3 plus cosine square of u cosine square of u we know t square so then as the next step uh, we can uh, change the upper limit and lower limit when we change the limit this minus get cancelled so we can write minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 2 times dt over here 3 we can write square root of 3 square plus t square okay then uh, here we know arctan uh, if not you can change the limit uh, because uh, according to symmetric or if not uh, you can integrate uh, also this function so we can write here now uh, 
uh, here 2 now 1 over uh, here square root of 3 uh, times uh, arc tan of arc tan of t over square root of 3 uh, limit minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 so here 2 over square root of 3 now if we plug in 1 arc tan of 1 over square root of 3 we know 5 over 6 then minus now if we plug in minus 1 arc tan minus we can take minus so here also again 5 over 6 now we know here uh, 2 pi over 6 and 2 get cancelled so pi over 3 so finally 2 times pi over 3 times square root of 3 okay this is the uh, solution of this infinite sum uh, if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching